Hi guys, it's Red. In this lesson, we are going to talk about a type closely related to integers, the float type. Let's begin by creating a new file, lesson 04-float.py. Let's create a float variable, f1 equals 3.6, and print the type and the variable print parenthesis type parenthesis f1 close the parenthesis comma f1 and run as you can see the type is float floats are number with a decimal part but it's not necessary for that part to be present for example f2 equals three dot and print again the type and the variable print parenthesis type parenthesis f2 close the parenthesis comma f2 and run here we obtain a float even without specifying the decimal part now let's create an integer and one equals 10 and now f3 equals n1 slash n1 and print the type and the variable print parenthesis type parenthesis f3 close the parenthesis comma f3 and run again we get a float that's because any division returns a float, except when using double slash for integer division. Let's try it. n2 equals n1 double slash n1. Print parenthesis type parenthesis n2 close the parenthesis comma n2 and run. As you can see, the double slash returns an integer. That's because there are no float in the division. Now let's try with the multiplication. Print parenthesis type parenthesis n1 by f3. Close the parenthesis, comma, n1 asterisk f3. Close the parenthesis run in this case we obtained a float that's because all the arithmetic operation with a float results in a float now let's transform an integer into a float using the float function n1 equals float parenthesis n1 close the parenthesis print parenthesis type parenthesis n1 close the parenthesis comma n1 and run now let's try to transform it back into an integer using the integer function n1 equals int parenthesis n1 and print it again print parenthesis type parenthesis n1 close the parenthesis comma n1 and run and we obtained an integer now let's recap lesson 04 hyphen float we learned about floats that are very similar to integers we learn about the integer function and the float function. For this lesson is enough. Thanks for watching and see you in the next lesson.